after four years of surrogacy attempts, numerous failed IVF treatments, and a devastating miscarriage, they are eagerly awaiting the arrival of their two bundles of joy. The twins, a boy and a girl, are due this fall around Halloween. I'm told Lance's favorite holiday. And please welcome Lance Bass and his husband, Michael Turchin, from their home in Sherman Oaks, California. Congrat! I was looking at you out of the corner of my eye. I could see you. You're just, you really are beaming, Lance and Michael. How do you feel? I mean, it feels incredible. Uh, like you said, it's been quite the journey for us, uh, but, uh, it's been insane. It, uh, you know, finally, this one worked, and uh, we have twins on the way. And yeah. thank you to our amazing doctor, Dr. Gadir, for making this happen for us. Uh, but we could not be happier, and uh, our families too. Yeah. Michael, are you tearing up just from my intro? I oh, see. God. I mean, God, I, I'm emotional. No, you know what? I w wish I was that emotional. No, it's purely allergies right now. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, listen. <laughs> I am yeah, so excited. I am so excited. <laughs> no. I love it. Listen, you will be crying soon. As soon as you see those two faces, every, oh. every emotion in your body will flood out. Lance, I got to go back a little bit on this because you've been together 10 years, as I understand it. Almost immediately, you started talking about wanting a family together. And I know that I read that you said that that you didn't see a lot of great examples, if you will, of gay couples having families in the public eye, which is part of why you've been so public. But going back to those 10 years ago, who brought this up first, Lance? Um, I, it was probably me that brought it up. Probably. Uh, but I, I do remember early on in our relationship, I wanted to you know, test the waters and see if he even wanted a family, because that was so important to me. Yeah. And uh, he immediately, you know, said, yes, I want to have kids. So For sure. uh, that's why I wanted to continue to pursue this this relationship. Was that <laughs> on your checklist? I mean, when you were, you know, looking for love, as we like to say, and looking for someone to live your life with, because at the end of the day, you're a family, even if you don't have children. So you've got the person, sure. but did you have Lance, um, that on your list this person must want children too yeah i mean i that was definitely on my little checklist for sure um i mean i don't know if it was a complete deal breaker <laughs> yeah. because he's just amazing either way with or uh, without kids uh, <laughs> keep it coming keep it coming but yeah michael you are a twin it is one I, thing to be a twin it is another thing to parent <laughs> twins yes <laughs> are you ready for this no, um, no, I don't. I'll, I will never be ready. I don't think Lance will ever be ready. Um, <laughs> but we are very excited. Um, you know, my mom. You know, I'm I'm a twin, as you said. Um, and that that's the only sibling I have is my twin sister. And my mom said, you know what? Having twins, it was the only thing she knew. She didn't know what it was like just to have one child. So. It was kind of easier in that respect because that's just was their only existence, having twins. Um, so nothing to compare it to. Well, there's no turning back now, for sure. You're in it. But the, how you got here, just so emotional, the ups and downs as I was reading your story, um, egg donation, um, the, the heartbreaking miscarriage. Lance, how was it managing expectations? Because I know even when I went through IVF, it's hard not to start looking at nursery items. It's hard not to start thinking about names, even as you wait for that confirmation. You don't want to mm -hmm. jinx yourself, but it's hard, right? How did you yeah. manage through those ups and downs and those dark days? Yeah, I mean, it, it's it was you know hard. Uh, you know, you you do get excited when you find out that you're pregnant, um, and then your brain just automatically starts picturing their future, right? Everyone picked, I mean, all the way, oh, who are they going to marry? What are they going to be? Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's... Uh... Yeah, it's hard. Um, and, you know, and as you kind of mentioned earlier, you know, we went through so many. We actually, it, it was reported in the press incorrectly that we had gone through like nine IVF treatments. We never actually went through IVF like that many right. transfers, just yeah. to clear clear things up. Um, it was just we, the eggs that we were we went through so many different egg donors, and we got almost to the point of doing the transfer, and then we had to find a new egg donor. So that happened nine times of just trying to find the right egg donor after starting that journey with them. Um, and then when we were pregnant um, last year, uh, as you said before, yeah, she miscarried. We had twins as well, and she miscarried on the sixth and seventh week. So after how did that, you lean, Michael? How did you lean on each other during that? I mean, listen. As you said, 
you know, there's misinformation, but at the end of the day, this was a yeah. four-year process. You did go through the egg donation, and that's not an easy thing. And then you get to this point where there's a miscarriage. How did you, as a couple, lean in with, lean on each other to comfort each other? Because that, that's not an easy road. No, it's not. We, uh, I mean, we were, you know, we were just there for each other. We're each other's best friends. We're always here for each other um, with anything. And so, especially at this moment, I mean, I remember getting the news and it was heartbreaking. I mean, we both, you know, we both cried and we both kind of just hugged each other. And uh, and we knew, you know what, we, this wasn't going to be the end of our journey. Um, you know, it's, 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 unfortunately, it's, it's common, you know, to have miscarriages, even with, you know, IVF. And so, um, and we didn't even realize that either. We, yeah. we had a lot of comforting from a lot of our friends around ourselves that have gone through this process and pretty much every single couple that we knew um, miscarried their very first time. So that, you know, comforted us and know, you know, it felt like, you know, we were a part of, I don't know, a, a nice community.